Hi, my name is Lynn Sainmore, and I'm the chair of the United Nations Internet Governance Forum Multi-Stakeholder Advisory Group. I served in this position since 2016, and today is my last day, and I'd like to actually introduce the incoming IGF MAG Chair, Henriette Esterhausen. Thank you very much, Lynn. It's, a, it's an honor and a pleasure and a huge challenge for me to take on this role, um, stepping into the shoes of you, Lynn, who have been not just a, a phenomenally effective chair of the MAG, but also a leader in the internet and internet development center in your own right. But I'm really looking forward to it. I feel very proud to be from the Global South and to be able to participate and contribute in this space in, in a new way. And um, I look forward to your support and to the support of the immense community that, that cares about the IGF and contributes to the IGF and that, that believes that there's significance in the IGF being part of the UN system, being part of the SDG process. And next year, um, I feel a bit intimidated, but also positively challenged by the idea of an IGF taking place in the same year as the 75th anniversary of the United Nations. Henriette and I are very fortunate to both have been engaged in internet governance activities since the very, very earliest days. We both participated in the World Summit on the Information Society 1 and 2, and the prep comms um, that supported it very familiar with the Tunis agenda and the other kind of guiding and, and framing documents. I think the IGF and the community is just extremely lucky to have Henriette in this position. I think we're both actually very honored as well that the Secretary General some years ago moved the position of the chair away from what had always been held by a government seat and by a male as well and put it in the technical community and now in civil society and of course um, paid attention to the importance of, of uh, gender equality as well. So we've worked very hard over the last few years to listen to the suggestions we've had for improvements to the IGF. And we've taken a lot of those on board. There's a lot more to do. Um, this year in particular, with the support of the German government, we've been able to bring in parliamentarians, approximately 120 from over 45 countries. And the German government also um, supported us putting a much greater focus on small and medium enterprises. Um, all of those activities have just enriched our activities here very, very much. And I think we'll really support a lot of activities next year going forward. Where Henriette said there's so many interesting developments happening in the, in the United Nations space. Yes, and I think that, that the, the, I feel at this IGF, and I look forward to building on that, that there's this magical formula that's, that's made up somehow of continuity and regeneration. There's, there's, they're newcomers, they're new people. There's so many people at this IJF who are here for the first time. But then there are so many people like, like, like ourselves who have been part of this process from its earliest days. And I think that's one of the unique success criteria for me about the IJF is that it has that dynamism that, that comes from, 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 from continuity and evolution and challenge and regeneration. No, that's actually really well said and a really important point because all the internet activities over the year have really been a source of, of, of evolution, of innovation, of response to needs. And I mean, that continues today. And even with the uh, Secretary General's high-level panel on digital cooperation, is actually recognizing, um, I think, the value of what we've actually built, the platform, the common language, a lot of the, the reference, and is just an excellent building block for future future developments here. I mean, the space is, is obviously so very critical. Um, and maybe just a final word from me um, is to, um, well, to thank you for, for, for the work that you've done. And the MAG chair is literally just, the chair of the multi-stakeholder advisory group and um, I've been observing and participating in in that group for a long time I was a member myself uh, myself and I've just seen how you've managed to to galvanize this group and bring them together to to work to produce this incredible idea um, and I will try to do that as well it's a, the mag is this entity that is greater than the sum of its parts, 
parts and I think what the chair has to try and do is find a way of enabling that and and getting that wisdom of the of the crowd directed into the IGF and you've done that brilliantly and I will try to you're to, you're to very learn kind. from you <laughs> very kind and in fact too kind because as, as you and I both both know and believe from the bottom of our heart that this is all about the community and it's all about the individual it's all about participation it's about giving people voice to participate and supporting them and of course the internet governance forum is an open inclusive multi-stakeholder platform where all the stakeholder voices are equal we're all on the same the same footing which makes it relatively unique in, in many many forms and Henriette uh, honestly couldn't be a better choice <laughs> for next year in terms of history and vision and imagination and drive so I wish you much much success Thank you.